Week two, day three, with me, Kriparian. We we're just done. Uh, well, just done. We took a little bit of a break, but we just casted Life Coach versus Cipher. Yeah. Life Coach taking the series was a pretty good streak of matches, and we're about to get into Harudra versus Hawkeye. Yeah. Um, these players are probably not too well known by most people who watch Hearthstone stuff, but uh, you know, if you pay attention to the better players in the game, um, I know I know quite a bit, at least at least about Hawkeye. He's uh, he's from Greece, so. That, that kind of helped. They try to keep an eye out on the Greek players because I was there right. for a while. And um, Hawkeye's a player who's gone through just a lot of qualifiers in the past. And he's done, like, really well throughout. Um, I think he's actually one of the top-ranked players in the game right now just because, you know, he's had to qualify and he has qualified uh, for just about everything. So, uh, yeah, pretty good results. But... Um, yeah, both of these players are uh, near the bottom of their group right now. Uh, Hirudro standing at one win, two losses, and Hawkeye with zero wins, one loss. And uh, we're kind of in the same situation uh, as we were with Life Coach versus Cypher, where the, the losing player from this match will um, have a real tough time or maybe even an impossible time qualifying out of their group. Yeah, so both players are playing Warrior. Um... They brought Warrior, that is. Harudra has his Warlock and Hunter left, and Hawkeye's got Warrior Rogue and his Hunter's out. So Harudra here playing as the Hunter player against Hawkeye's Warrior. That's, like, if this is mid-range, which I have to assume based on the high main, it could be. Could be hybrid, whatever mm -hmm. they want to call that. Um, you know, the five cards different than Face Hunter deck. Yep. Deck that, you know, has another name. It's kind of a, it's kind of a good matchup against Patron. Otherwise, I think patients do really well here. This is another one where uh, you know people are a bit split on it. Um, you know, some people think the hybrid hunter has the advantage. Some people think the patron has the advantage. Um, I think the hybrid hunter has a small advantage uh, from what I've seen so far. Yeah, it's like maybe fifty-five to sixty versus you know the other forty-five. And it also depends on what patrons are taking. Because that's the thing is, whenever somebody says patron. Everybody's got a different definition in mind. You know, th there's so many variants of it. Yeah. All right, so I guess you've got to kill that armor smith. Yeah. Get abusive. It, if, you, if you give your opponent too many turns, it can be kind of hard to push for that damage. Um, also, like, you know, because the players are bringing new decks each, each day here, can you really put Hawkeye 100% on Patient Warrior with this opener? Not yet. I, you really can't yet. And, you know, Control Warrior has come back as a result of Patron. You know, Patron being there um, really pushes the deck. Now, the Whirlwind is a pretty good pickup, but do you really have to play it just yet? I mean, you at least have to pop the Spider. Because otherwise, Houndmaster could come in. Hmm, yeah. What about just Cruel you don't Task seem on convinced. the 2-1? Right. What about Cruel Task on the 2-1? What do you think about that? Then you let the Spider uh, possibly get Houndmaster? Or do you pop the spider too? Hmm. Are you always that afraid of Houndmaster against this? Like, if you're the warrior here, you also don't know what deck the hunter's playing. You don't know if this is hybrid or face. He just killed your armor smith. So. Right. Yeah, you might expect him to just go full face from now on. Yeah. Well, he's gonna wipe the board anyway, he doesn't want to have to deal with that stuff. And again, you know, he's got the Emperor Thorson with the Patron already in hand with a cool task. So maybe he's gonna try to... He, he's weighing... Oh, wow, he would have gotten punished a little bit here. Yeah, he would have. Good thing he... Uh, yeah, good thing he made your play. Yeah, but then again, you know, it's up to... It's up to debate. A lot of people would have made the play uh, that you mentioned. So, Gnomish Inventor, he needs, like, how many cards to really make that Emperor worth it? Uh, I think you just need six mana. I think you're just playing the biggest stuff every turn from here on out. Like, if, if, if you just have a decent Emperor turn, does it really matter how many cards you have in hand? I mean, this is a pretty weak Emperor if he ends up playing it. So, Patron with Inner Rage. I mean, he could do it next turn. Patron, Inner Rage with Whirlwind yeah. is pretty good on its own. And there's a yeah, little... No hunter play this do. turn. Yeah. Cycle Battle Rage? Is that, yeah. is that the best you're going to get? I'm kind of thinking that that's what you do to try to find maybe another weapon or... Mm -hmm. I mean, you could keep it and play Emperor next turn, force a trade, but then, you know, if High Main comes out, this is... 
Either way, I think he's going to be down to like 15 health by the time his play comes around. Cycling is exactly what he does. Belcher, all right. Whoa. There we go. Patient Belcher, Belcher is kind of a tech card. Yeah. Do you think that actually helps much against Hybrid Hunter? It seems like most creatures that really threaten you are ones that have, like, they're just generally bigger than what a Belcher can handle. Like, Belcher is great against smaller creatures, but terrible against bigger ones. Like, what no, does I mean, Belcher do against Hybrid Hunter? Really, really. Against Iron Beak Owl, even, like, Hoot Hoot. There's very really little you can do against that guy. Mm -hmm. Uh, whoa, that's not a bad pickup here from Hawkeye. If he gets it's, his patrons out now, he could do something. That's the thing, like, he needs to do something right now, because, like, the amount of damage that his opponent is threatening is, like, pretty yeah. insane. Like, what is that? That's, that's 12, that's 16. <laughs> yeah, just on the board, that's 16, he's, he's gonna be below 10 health, like, straight up. So he's gonna try to go for the biggest possible play he can muster. Mm-hmm next turn trying to get the emperor I, I mean the good thing is this emperor is probably oh, oh is that wow. game that's one I, off i think i think that's one off one man off <laughs> no, one mana and one, and damage. one damage yeah yeah i think the best play here is actually to kill command face um freeze Still trap face, man. and ping I, I think the bow is actually a mistake oh no or you can bow and freeze trap and then ping face and then play yeah. iron beak yeah i'll kill command hero power that's a pretty rough start here for uh, Hawkeye with a warrior. But then again, you know, once this uh, hunter deck wins, like, he can't replay it. So the patron is going to be going up against the next deck from Harudra, which is a warlock. So depending on what it is, it could be a good matchup. But if Harudra brought handlock, then Hawkeye just got, you know, hard countered all the way through. And then again, you know, you did say uh, handlock was like 60%. Yeah. I think Maybe it's not it that bad. Okay, so you're at four. You've got no way to gain armor. No, it's 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 one of those situations again where I mean, yeah, you can maybe can you? Still? No, you can't. You can't. There's no way you can stay alive. But you, you'd still you'd still probably try to make some kind of grim patron play. You'd play like as if that's explosive trap. And you have to make the combo play. Well, it doesn't matter because I mean He's the bow plus the trap, right? Yeah, yeah. Like the... just those two things kill you. Uh, yeah, bow plus your power would turn. kill you. <laughs> Escape concede best play. It's yeah, yeah. It's pretty much it, and he knows it too. Like it's not even as though it's, it comes as a surprise. That's pretty clever. That's actually pretty clever. That's not the play I would have made in the same circumstances. Mm -hmm. Like, if I tried to live. Because he actually, like, without the owl, or the kill command, or the quick shot, or the unleash, <laughs> he would have lived. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> like, all the cards. Yeah. Well, Hunter strikes again. Golden Hunter, nonetheless. Yeah, what can you do? That was uh, one of the quickest, most brutal matches we've seen, uh, well, I've seen in this tournament so far. But yeah, there really isn't much to do. Uh, Harudra with uh, with Hunter down is going to have to play Warlock. Um, again, the Handlock does seem to do pretty well against uh, the Warrior. But uh, what if it is like a Zulok? Zulok? If it's a Zulok, I think Patron uh, actually has a really big edge. Like, even against Demon Lock to an extent. Mm. So, but also Rogue, like Hawkeye second class is Rogue, and Rogue does pretty well against uh, most all the non. Yeah, I don't think it does that well against Handlock. It's like okay, right? Well, it's like sixty percent now. I think. Uh, you think it's, it's that like, high? Yeah, it's it's gotten a really big edge. Like you know, Tinker Sharp Sword oil. oil is pretty mm -hmm. crazy. It's just like you have to play very very conservatively with your resources because mm -hmm. you, you need know, the card advantage that the. The warlock has is obviously a big issue for you. I see. Well, it looks All to right. be a demon lock, I think. Like a demon zoo or something along those lines. Wow, yeah. what a bad start for Harudra. Is it? It's Often, not that amazing. It's not, but this is not a zoo deck at the same time. Like yeah, when, it's a bit slower. when you're playing eggs, when you're playing mid range, um, often that's just what you draw. Uh, he's thinking if he wants to play the Abusive Sergeant, 
Um, yeah, it's the only activator for the egg and doesn't have a three drop as it stands. So I think saving it is what I would have done as well. Yeah, the reasoning is probably that if you play it, there might just be a coin cruel task. And then how do you remove the 2-2 two -two without getting punished even worse than, uh, than you would be? You know, Fiery War Axe, you can play Dread Corsair soon. That's a really good hand for Hawkeye, though, to handle a zoo deck. You think that's better? I think saving the coin might be better, so playing the Armorsmith is, is the better play. Oh, yeah, yeah, he doesn't have to play the Dread Corsair this turn. But it's just that his hand is really lining up pretty well against a, a zoo player. No way to really kill off that egg either at the moment. Oh, man, imagine if he had a Void Terror. <laughs> Yeah, Void Terror would have been pretty good. Um, what he needs to do here, I think, is just to uh, drop the Demon from his hand. So if the Void Color does die, it guarantees the Doom Guard. So yeah, I don't think it really matters what he plays. He just has to play the Void Walker. I don't think I'd ever tap. Just because, you know, the, the moment those eggs fall down, you've already got some kind of protection against a mass amount of Whirlwind effects. Mm -hmm. Like, there's no reason to tap here very often. And again, those eggs. Unless he picks up the Fen of Argus, I'm gonna have to wait to do anything. If you play Dread Corsair, do you play the P.O.? Uh, I mean, that P.O. is gonna crush you whenever it happens. It's not. It's just like, yeah, it, if he has Power of Blood, I'm screwed. It's fine. Whatever. If he has it, I'm screwed. If he doesn't have it, it's fine. That, oh, I mean, that's man! Fix up the Flame Imp. Again, a really bad draw if you want to get that Void Collar to do something. Yeah, the Void Collar might actually get killed too. I don't think it's that likely, but it's possible. Well, the Doom Guard comes out, there's no Execute for Hawkeye right now, so you might uh, opt to wait a little bit. Although, Grim Patron Coin Inner Rage is really tempting. Like, Coin Grim Patron in Inner Rage is really tempting from a... Uh, yeah, that's really hard to remove. Um, I th I feel like the demon the demon Zulok is one of those decks that actually has uh, some interpretation. Like some people, I I even know run Hellfire. Right. How much? How likely do you think that is, though? I don't think Harudra is going to run it. Like he seems to have been running very standard lists so far. I don't. I haven't seen him really bring some crazy twist on existing decks. Like his druid was the most standard druid. Like nothing really seemed to to strike out as unusual. So he's gonna go for the Belcher and wait a little longer. Maybe try to protect the patrons. Okay. And this That's pretty good. He can play his entire hand minus the Doom Guard and just slam the Doom Guard if he wants. He's able to kill uh, the Belcher with the the Void Caller. And um, an egg. And maybe some juggle action. Oh man, what if Vo Knife Juggler, Flame Imp, you abusive the Dread Corsair, you kill it with the Void Caller, and then you get your Doom Guard to kill that Belcher. Yeah, you can do that, but... That'd be pretty cool. Is that really worth it? I don't know. You're killing the... You're killing both the Belcher and the 3-3 anyway. I feel it's not about like killing the Belcher as much as it is activating those eggs that you have two of. Yeah, I guess. I need to pop one. Like, the Void Caller gets a value no matter what. It's not really an issue. Now the question is whether or not you need the value right now. Mm -hmm. Which I don't think you do. Are the eggs protection against AoE from his perspective ever? Oh, man. So he opts not to life tap here, and he picks up a Void Walker. That's not bad. Did he get to attack at least? Okay, yeah. So no execute here for uh, Hawkeye. And he played it. Okay. All right. How did that happen? <laughs> well, I guess he just Magic. dragged it. The APM yeah. is too damn high. The APM is guess. real, boys. All um, right. Well, that turned out pretty well for him. Um, then again, I, that's I kind of, I kind of like not playing the juggler there. It just doesn't do anything. Every juggle that happens is meaningless and gives him an armor. So do you play Patron in a Rage and then play the Frothing with Warsong next turn and see where that leads you? Because honestly, for the Warlock player to be able to handle the Patrons, he's going to have to trade quite a bit of stuff away. Because mm -hmm. you can kill that 2-1 and then... Yeah, you can kill the 2-1 with the Armorsmith and leave your Taunt up. 
Mm -hmm. So you might be left with one patron to just enable with a cruel task afterwards. You know, that's actually a much better play. Like a ten times better play. It's not even close. This is, a, this is not even a, a contest. How much better of a play that is. Yeah, it just sets up like board presence. You get the charger. Just leaving the charger out makes it so um, you can activate uh, very easy frothing or grim patron on the following turn. Very good stuff. Whoa, okay. Yeah, some of that flavor. Well, it looks like the power realm is going to come in pretty handy here. Uh, it's going to drop on the egg, kill the uh, Warsong commander, and uh, it's going to be one out of three to really destroy the warrior's board here. See if this juggle happens. Nope. Didn't. Wow, that's a good draw as well from Hawkeye here. Taking away that uh, Doom Guard if he wants to. Which I guess he does. He does want to. I think this yeah. is actually the turn where you just Grim Patron uh, in a rage. Yeah. Um, you have. You have the 2 1 for the Juggler. You have the Execute for the Doom Guard. And then yeah. you can. Uh, you should be fine. The thing is, you still need to get card draw to, to make this board stand you know the long term because like if, it, if there's an implosion like you're still out of it because your grim patient gets implosioned and then you're just going to lose a second one to the four four yeah okay i mean he must also, be like, thinking that the, the warlock's at 17 that's not yeah. like the highest of life totals <laughs> so, so as hawkeye do you just do you just go sm orc or what <laughs> like what's the what's the play oh wow he's gonna wait to get a whirlwind effect with the patron and the inner rage Okay. That's pretty solid, actually. Like, how does Harudra answer this? Sacrifice a four-four and leave the armor smith up again yep. and again. You know, that's that's the better play again. It just doesn't seem to stop. Hmm. I feel like it's not really worth activating your egg this turn, but you kind of need more board presence than a Sylvanas. Is it that bad if you just Sylvanas trade the egg and the 4-4 four four for the frothing? I mean, you're not playing for a lot of value, but... It's just the abusive on the board is not even anything at all. So, I don't know. I feel like you can get better use out of abusive. Sometimes you can get better use out of abusive with Sylvanas on board because it lets you kill it off as well. So that's mm -hmm. kind of a lot of flexibility. I Actually, I really prefer not using just... the abusive here. They're just letting the egg sit there as protection against the possible AoE effect plus, you know, versatility on the abusive triggers. Yeah. I can see that. It makes a lot of sense. Sylvana's gonna fall down. I think Hawkeye might be a bit surprised, but... Nope. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a bit surprising as you see Sylvanas. Um, usually if you see Sylvanas, you know, like, Void Terrors in the deck. That's kind of like the... the Q. Yeah. That's really awkward for Hawkeye. Pass, yeah. Oh, there mm -hmm. it is. I think I just puked in my mouth, Crip. <laughs> um, well, you can take the Armorsmith, but how much value is that? No, no, I don't I, I don't think I would bother. I, you could still wait, but enabling that egg alone is... I mean, the thing is, if you kill the Armorsmith, you're guaranteed that your Sylvanas is going to do nothing. Like, if he's got the second execute somehow. But he would have probably played it if he had it. Yeah. Mm. He would have absolutely played it if he had it. So you know he probably doesn't have the other execute. You've already been executed once. So the chance of him drawing it is really low. At this stage, like, we haven't seen the, the warrior draw many cards. He's probably got, like, 17 or 16 cards. So, 19, actually. Wow. Yeah, so, he's so still the, got his entire deck, as I said. Like, the, he needs the to chance, find card draw. The chance he gets executed is actually 5%. So, I think that's a really low risk. I don't think there's actually any reason to activate Sylvanas here. Like 5%, come on. He's gonna Void Terror Sylvanas and the Egg. Oh man. He takes the Armor Smith just because he wants a really, really big Void Terror. Uh, Hawkeye. I also think the, the reasoning could be that he's at pretty low life and he if wants he to continue up. tapping. If he picks up Warzone Commander here, that's going to be like the game-winning card. It's like the only card that would possibly 
No, Maybe. Gromash, if it's in there. Gromash is like lethal if he plays the axe this turn. Yeah, if Hawkeye plays Gromash, he might just because a lot of players still do play it. So, right. Rooter's looking for the Taunter, basically. Looking for Defensive Argus. He's got to be really wary of tapping here at this point. Mm, I don't think so. I mean, the same cards kill you. Like, what does 5 damage direct that wouldn't otherwise do 7? Frothing Charge and a Rage. It's like a very specific combination of 3 cards. So I don't think... Like, if he... Well, we don't know what's in his deck. If he's got... Right. Like, some some of these decks that run Sylvanas actually even run, like, a heal bot from, from time to time. So, like, if he's got a heal bot, if he's got, like, two mm -hmm. Sun Furies and an Art... Like, if he has, like, four options or something, then, yeah, you tap for sure. Almost out of time. Wouldn't he just be happy to see a Whirlwind here? Yeah, he would. Please, uh, two turns away from winning. Does he have lethal next turn? I think he's got it, right? Unless Hawkeye picks up the kill himself. Oh, man. Mm, Those no. patrons just sitting dead in Hawkeye's hand for the entire game. Yeah, it looks like Hawkeye's gonna be 0-2 in this one. I don't see any way out. I don't see any lethal. And, yeah. uh, yeah, that's gonna be two points for Haruda, none for Hawkeye. Man. That was uh, things, like, things that was are really not doing well for Greece. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I mean, Hawkeye is just on a really bad streak in the tournament so far. Like, I think at 0-3 right yeah. now, unless I'm mistaken. There's I really no way he ends up. Okay. Let me yeah. let me check. Yeah. So Hawkeye is 0-2 and Haruda is two and two. Um, now with with the top three advancing in uh, a group of five, being on an even standing after four games is actually a pretty good position. Yeah, it's obviously not the best, there. but yeah, if you're if you're like dead average in the group, you do advance. So yeah, yeah. So Her Herudra kind of puts him in an advancing situation, while Hawkeye is almost in a hopeless situation. But I don't think he has no chance at this stage. We'll just have to see some really good stuff from him uh, in the next few uh, showings. Yeah, I mean, he's just got to bring Shaman again, like he did a death, uh, like he did a dream hack. Which was actually pretty cool. He brought Shaman, I think, last time he played, and that really didn't pay off. But again, mm -hmm. he's like the only player playing Shaman at all in the league at the moment. Yeah. All right, well, uh, that's it for the the match. We're going to be taking a short break, and we're going to be casting Kibler versus Kang afterwards. Brian Kibler, you know, you already know him. Kang, a largely unknown player from South Korea. Mm -hmm. um, one of the qualified Both players, if I'm not mistaken. I believe so. Both players are currently 0-1. Uh, so again, they're kind of they're kind of fighting for their tournament life because zero, zero two is just a really bad spot to be in. Yeah. Like, you know, there's very few players who go out of their group, you know, four zero or three zero in their current state, and uh, you basically need to do that after you lose two games. So yeah. very very unlikely stuff. And you have to beat the two. You also can't be competing with the guys that beat you. So yeah. it's, again, you know, going to put you in an even worse spot for tiebreaker. So we're going to go for a short break. Now, before we go, a quick shout out again to Vulcan for organizing this and Squarespace.com. Uh, it's a place where you can create your own website. If you want to check them out, Squarespace.com slash Deckmasters. You can get yourself a discount, 10%. The tools are intuitive. It looks professional. It's clean. And it's also not very expensive. So you can look them up. In the meantime, don't go anywhere, guys. We'll be right back.